the sleeves and goes for most of it. to a visual you thought you may never see Muhammad Ali taking his act to the octagon. And a lot of people out there betting on this man think he's going to realize success here tonight. Well, why would you not expect it, right? The guy has done everything he has ever said he was going to do. To become the gold medalist, to becoming the heavyweight world champion, to becoming the greatest boxer the world has ever seen. This guy is a fearless competitor. He has tremendous hand speed unbelievable footwork, but it won't be those gifts that allow him to find success in the UFC. He's going to have to mix everything up. Sort of felt like he had exhausted the boxing world. Felt like this was the next professional challenge. Perhaps a case of be careful what you wish for. Muhammad Ali gracing the octagon here tonight. tonight, who will have the upper hand between Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson around the way. This is one of the ones that we almost got. The errors barely missed each other. Muhammad Ali was at the tail end when Mike Tyson was ascending into who he became to the world of boxing. We finally get these two, and we get these two inside the UFC's office. himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat. Tyson gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, he cut a nasty cut on his lip. Man, no feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Big strike lands. 
strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, whoa. Both landed. That hook was bad. That uppercut is good. Oh, he got him hurt bad here. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Back and forth we go. Circling towards the left hand. Yeah, let's move on. Oh, man, look what that one body shot did to his opponent. That shows the power. The power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Trying to stay in this fight! And there's a takedown attempt. Tyson's eyes closing up now. Not good for him. Lands a nice jab there. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. 90 seconds to go in our opening round. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Slips the punch. Survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. He passes the half. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and down by Ali. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an open. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Muhammad Ali! Well, could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.